the social studies teacher Curtis Crane of Mountain View Middle School brought a group of students to the debate of the U.S. Senate and House of Representatives last two weeks. I'm here to find out what the students think about politics and what the process is, as well as what they think about our future leaders in the country. You were at the debate of House of Representatives. Who were you most impressed with and who were you less impressed with and why? I was most impressed with Ed Tinsley because he just he just kind of he grabbed my attention. Like he put it into terms that I could understand better. He got his point across to me, and I was le le least impressed with probably Aubrey Dunn because he was just more quiet and um, he just didn't really catch my attention that well. And my view with Ed too. What do you think? My favorite candidate was Earl Greer because he had some great strong points on the debate but Aubrey Dunn did not have many good uh, debate, debatable answers on the actual debate that was there but overall I think all the candidates did well. Now Curtis you brought the students there to the debate mm -hmm. and what kind of strong points did they talk about or something that caught your attention? Um, I really liked hearing uh, the responses on on taxes and welfare things like that because I think we we overspend on that in our country. Uh, we learned in our textbook the other day that we spend over a trillion dollars a year on different kinds of welfare programs, and I'm not saying we shouldn't do any of that, but a trillion dollars a year to me that's a lot of money that can be spent better elsewhere. So that was really interesting, and uh, of course it's always good to see what the kids think of that also. We should keep what we earn and that people who need welfare it should be limited amount of money that they get and it should just be like on a time frame and they have to show that they're progressing into trying to get a job, trying to get back onto their feet. Well, Jerry, at the debate, did any candidate have any interesting ideas about tax cuts or welfare? Yes, there was one idea that we should have them take drug tests before they get the, their food stamps or welfare. It should cut down on spending that should not be used to help the person, but for drugs, of course. What is your view on the war on terror? I think the view on war on terror is that it's, we need to be over there, but it, yeah, it's not a good thing that our military people are dying over there, but it's getting less and less or getting productive on it, and also that if we're going to be over there, we need to get it done as quick as possible because we don't need all these casualties on the innocent and on our military people. Now, Chrissy, you brought up a very good point because we're affecting innocent people as well. Does any one of you have any idea or did the candidate mention anything that could actually help eliminate all these problems besides just going to wars? What else can we do? Ashley, what do you think? I think we could like, negotiate, but that wouldn't solve everything because you know, there's always going to be war in the world. You can't stop it. So I think if we just go through with the war, once it's over, it's over. That's good, but you got to stay there until we finish it because we started it by going there, but they started it by bombing us. So Now, one last question. If you had an opportunity to speak to the candidate of president, what kind of issue would you bring to his attention? I would ask him what he would do like about the war on terror because morally I think the war is wrong. Um, well, I'd say what was his opinion on many other things besides the war on terror and taxes, like how he feels about abortions. Hey, Curtis, do you agree with your students or you have something else to say to the presidential candidates? Uh, the first thing I would want to do though with the, the shape the economy is in is ask the Democratic candidates about uh, repealing the tax cuts that we have in place because I don't see how that's going to help the economy at all by raising taxes at this point especially with the straits we're in with, you know there's a lot of things that aren't looking too good as indicators right now it is good to see that students are getting out of the classroom and incorporate what they learn in school into real-life situations and current issues it is great to see young kids being involved in politics this is Angie Palmer reporting from everything